Good afternoon, everybody. As promised, we are here with a live Q&A. We want to welcome Jeff McEachran from Gion USA. You, <clears throat> Always good to see you. Yep, Jeff has uh, been a friend of the business here for quite uh, a few years. It's, uh, it's great to have him by. Um, in, in talking about that, Jeff, we go back quite a few years now. And the grayer my hair gets, yeah. uh, the more difficult it is to remember exactly when. But you came here, we first met uh, when you attended Elite Detailer Academy yep. back in, uh, say, 2013. Yeah, yeah, late 2013, mid 2013. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of things have happened uh, uh, since then. Yeah, different place, man. Your shop different. Studio Ep 47 was still involved. Yep, yep. And uh, yeah, one of the early second second class, maybe third class. Yeah, it was it was pretty er yeah. early on. Yeah. And then uh, you know Jeff and I became uh, pretty close friends uh, at that point. And um, th at that time, you were still living down in Florida. Yeah, I was in West Palm. Yep. And then uh, came down to uh, to work on a customer's car yep. Ferrari that uh, the two of us worked on yep. together. And and we stayed uh, pretty good friends uh, throughout uh, the year. So. Uh, well, welcome here to Esoteric. Thank glad you. Uh, that you made it. Uh, uh, glad that we get an opportunity to, you know, share some of our conversa conversation with uh, the regular viewers here of yeah. the Esoteric channel. And I know a lot of people have watched a lot of stuff that you have done. They've been familiar with the line. You know, we here at Esoteric have been involved with Gian for uh, for quite a few years, um, and just wanted to talk about that uh, a little bit. <clears throat> how Gian came in. Well. We're going to talk about how Gion came into the USA, but mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about Gion, the company, yeah. uh, because the, the the company was already very well established around the rest of the world before mm -hmm. coming into the U.S. Yep. So you know, let's get into a little bit of information about Gion, the brand. You know where uh, it's been, and you know, take us up to that point of coming into the United States here. Yeah, definitely. So Gion, global car carry manufacturer. I mean, mm -hmm. very known for the coatings because of the popularity in recent years, but. I think 83 total SKUs now, everything from your washes, your decons, yep. your polishes, all the way up to the protective coatings. Um, and I think a big thing is, is about Gion that I appreciate uh, is they control the manufacturer. They yep. literally mix and make the products uh, in-house. It gives consistency, it gives control. Um, and that's kind of been important to the brand from the beginning. And uh, you know, from there it's grown like crazy. Yep. Um, you know, we're one of 83, uh, just over 70 individual country distributors wow. in the U.S. Yep. Um, and it's just, just from a background of a, a good group of guys that are mm -hmm. into detailing, uh, very product focused, you know, quality, consistency, packaging and usability is obviously yep. a big part of the experience. Um, and they're growing like wildfire. I mean, since I've been with them, it's, I think, the fourth um uh, manufacturing plant expansion wow um so that's that's, that's awesome. been fun to keep up with i'm sure from yep. their end but um but yeah i think for me i mean consistency honesty in mm -hmm. the products you know not overhyped you know in that type of sense oh that never happens in this yeah. industry no no we don't hear any <laughs> any, any false promises uh -huh. but, uh, but yeah. yeah yeah it's good yeah well that's good well you know, when you talk about the packaging, talk about the ease of use, the performance of it, you know, that was what really brought Esoteric mm -hmm. onto the product line. We had ordered some uh, from headquarters, basically, mm -hmm. the Gion years mm -hmm. ago, before there was a Gion USA. We got a bunch of products, we tried them out, we loved the packaging, we loved how the product works, and we figured out how to become the original mm -hmm. importer in the United States, um, this is five years ago or so, uh, of uh, the brand and it worked out really well. Mm -hmm. And then Gion wanted to, you know, really expand the presence mm -hmm. in the United States. Mm -hmm. And then that's where you came into play yeah. to establishing Gion USA. So tell us a little bit about Gion USA, what you do here in uh, the American market. Yeah, definitely. So I'm officially on as national brand manager yeah. for Gion USA. Um, I mean, gosh, the first time I had ever seen the brand was was after you had brought it in and mm -hmm. started poking around the products. Um, my introduction to to Gion Factory came through you, which mm -hmm. was op awesome. You know, after that relationship built through the Detailer Academy and you know, uh, sidestepping. That's one of the biggest things I think we miss in this industry. Mm -hmm. We talk about trainings and we're so product focused, but the relationships those type of things build and bring. Yep. You just never know. I mean, like I said, six years ago, I come to the training, we do a car together, and, and here we are, you know, running yeah. country for a brand later. But um, yeah, the, you know, Gion wanted to come in and, and just kind of expand the presence a bit, uh, looking for a national brand manager. Um, I was uh, one of, I think, a few references from yep. you over to that team. Um, came on right as I had moved from Denver uh, from West Palm. Mm -hmm. 
it was one of those things I said, I don't have time for this, but <laughs> if I say no and see somebody else do it a yeah. year from now, I'm not going to be able to uh, live with myself. So yep. jumped on that team and got to know the guys at the factory level. Um, the relationship there is, is really strong, and, and we've been just over four, right about four years yep. now as officially Gion Courts USA. Yep, awesome. Well, you know, you're, you're definitely the right person for the job. Thanks. I know that you've done uh, a, a lot to help promote the Gion mm -hmm, brand sure. here in the United States, educate, uh, you know, you're, you're out working with a lot of different people, mm -hmm. uh, coming to events, our open houses and things over the years too, to help uh, people understand more about uh, the brand and what it, what it offers. Speaking of that, that's why we're here today, uh, is to get some feedback, some questions from our viewers of the Esoteric channel here to talk about uh, um, some of uh, the, the, the common questions or things they want to learn a little bit sure. more about that. So given that, let's go to our great big teleprompter that we have uh, yep. uh, beside the camera. Shining brightly. <clears throat> that, that, that's showing some of the questions uh, that, that, are, that are coming in. So the first question that was up there, how did uh, Esoteric and Gion first meet? Mm -hmm. um, we, we just kind of went, uh, went over uh, that whole deal, it was just, we saw, Esoteric saw the, uh, the brand uh, out there and saw that it had a strong presence around the rest of the world. Yep. We tried it out, fell in love with it, and, and brought it in. Um, <clears throat> the second question, Gion Apparel. Yes. You've got uh, yeah, your nice uh, shirt, shirt on there. Fresh polo here. Um, you know, where can this be uh, purchased? It's uh, not uh, available online yet. Tell us a little bit about some of the apparel that's coming out and when we can expect to see that. Yeah, the apparel's awesome. I mean, something um, I didn't expect Gion to put as much time and effort into yeah. as they did, but I mean, they knocked it out of the park uh, last year in the design. And it's not only visual, which is something I think the brand needed, just a mm -hmm. little more branding, swag, a little more connection to the products outside of the physical bottles, Yep. Um, which is awesome. So all the normal stuff, you know, socks, hats, t-shirts, uh, hoodies, sweaters um, is all coming out, but then, some functional bits too, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Um, we've got a, a waterproof car wash jacket yep. um, designed for mobile detailing, outdoor washing. Uh, the pockets are intentionally designed, how the hood fits, how the lower strap works. I mean, as Gion designs every product, the clothing is, is functional and, and, yep. and it's designed to be a, a working set of clothing, yep. you know, stuff you wouldn't want dragging all over yep. cars. Yeah, well, well I, I look forward to seeing some of that stuff. You're gonna be mm -hmm. breaking out the next couple of days. Jeff and I are, are going to be doing a video tomorrow, uh, washing a car. Yep. Maybe I'll get lucky, get a yep. chance to, to wear that jacket. Yeah. Uh, when, uh, when do we hope to, to see that when people start to get their Definitely. hands on it? It is on uh, an ocean order on the water now. Yep. So I would say three to four weeks by okay. the time it lands through port through the warehouse and, and uh, out to distribution. So awesome. definitely be checking in. We'll do a big, you know, kind of social announcement, push everybody through and okay. let everybody know it's here. Awesome, look forward uh, uh, to that one. Cool. Uh, let's see here, Howard has the next question. What, and we never heard this question before. <laughs> What's the best product for black cars and yep. what do you re recommend as a drying aid? Sure, so the drying aid, right? The goal is increased lubrication during yep. drying. And black cars, I can see that being as the most uh, pertinent because you try not to micro mar. Mm -hmm. um, the product that kind of historically people use the most for that was Cure, mm -hmm. um, which works well. But I think uh, the Quick Detailer yep. released last year or SEMA before last yep. year works a bit better. Okay. Uh, a bit more lubrication in that, a little bit more movement, uh, mm -hmm. give you a pop in gloss, give you a pop in uh, hydrophobic effect. So I would be going Quick Detailer as my drying aid, really on any colored car. But, yep. but black in particular, since yeah. they're, they're so finicky. Uh, let's see here. Next question. Uh, Jeff, is your product better suited for certain climates? Does it work better in cooler climate than a warmer climate? And what is the ideal ambient temperature for uh, application? Now, obviously, that's going to be dependent on mm -hmm. what kind of product that we're talking about. I'm going to assume the, the, the person is asking about coatings sure. in particular. So yeah. give us a little insight on that. Yeah, and that's a great question. And um, Product temperature, it's much more about humidity. Yeah. And uh, the higher the humidity, the faster that solvent carrier wants to release, mm -hmm. and the quicker you need to get that product off the car before you get that gummy feeling. Mm -hmm. um, but secondary to that, the chemistry of the coating itself will play into that. And there's eight coatings in the GR mm -hmm. line, um, which you could look at as too many, but uh, I also like it as the opportunity in terms of you can kind of zero in on those specific things, and then there's coating chemistries within the product line mm -hmm. that would lend towards easier use in, in current climates. So, for example, uh, you know, we hear SiO2 all the time, you know, silica dioxide. Mm -hmm. um, the three straight silica dioxide products in the Gion line are CanCoat, 
one and pure. Mm -hmm. So can coat and one on the enthusiast level, pure on the professional level. Yep. Now these are you know highly concentrated straight silica dioxide products. They tend to be more uh, variant in terms of humidity. If you're mm -hmm. going to see a humidity spike, that product can be a little more difficult to use. Okay. So not super related to temperature, mm -hmm. but higher temperature tends to lead to higher humidity in a lot of climates. Um, so if you're in a higher humidity climate, can coat is pretty versatile across okay. the board, but Mohs is going to be your workhorse. Okay. Um, it's a silazane base, mm -hmm. so Mohs and Synchro both both carry that. You're not going to have that stickiness in a high humid environment. Mm -hmm. uh, Multi-layer coating with almost no shrinkage, which is really important. So oh. high humidity, I would be going can coat, Mohs, or Synchro. Yep. Uh, low humidity, uh, one. Pure are going to be fine, and then the other products are going to work well as well. Gotcha. Good, uh, good question there. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, another good one. It seems like every company now is making their own coatings or branding uh, their own coatings. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say separates uh, Gion coating uh, offerings from the rest of the industry? Sure. Um, kind of two parts to that question, right? Uh, make sure we're talking about what coatings really are. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a ceramic sticker slapped on everything now <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. because it's the buzzword and it's proven yeah. itself in the market. So you see companies coming out with ceramic wax, ceramic spray, this and that. And while you can do that, you can have waterborne you know, products to have a true ceramic coating. It has to have a solvent carrier of which cannot be transported or packaged in a plastic bottle. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to say, is this a ceramic coating, you know, glass coating, the mm -hmm. standard buzzwords, um, the carrier matters, you know? Yep. Um, so that's the first thing is make sure we're talking apples to apples. Are we talking real coatings? Are we talking kind of spray on type yep. stuff? But um, where does Gion differentiate is, is really the manufacturing. You know, mm -hmm. they control the manufacturing process. Um, they're buying raw materials from all over the planet, just like any, any, mm -hmm. anyone does, but they control uh, the construction, the formulation, the blending is all done in house. And to me, when I'm installing coatings, whether it's a DIY or on a professional sense, mm -hmm is the consistency that creates. Yeah. I think we've all been through brands where all of a sudden everything's fine, but then half the country can't get it to lay down. Yeah. Or you put it on this time and it's different than the last car you did with no communication. Um, and I've never experienced that in the Gion brand. It's because they aren't buying finished product and rebottling and manufacturing's changing. So for me, that's really, really yeah. important. So, so you mean to tell me that there's actually coding companies out there that, that are simply rebottling stuff. Strange. I, yeah, yeah. I never strange, would have. Strange, strange. I never would have yeah. thought that. <laughs> All right. If you notice on the bottom, uh, <clears throat> Gion site says uh, OEM opportunities if yes. you'd like. So yeah, uh, I think that's a part of the business we'd be surprised about as well. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, let's see here. Well, one thing that we wanted to talk about uh, here a little bit uh, too. You know, we've got a couple of mm -hmm. products on here, and we've got a couple of new ones yeah. uh, out front now. We don't want to completely yeah. uh, uh, spill all the excitement because we've got other videos that we're going to shoot sure. while you're here. But tell us really quickly some brief information about uh, the, the new products sitting up front here. Yeah, really cool, man. The new Prism Light uh, system. And it's cool to see Gian very controlled and very deliberate in the product development. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every year there's something new and it's incredibly well thought out. And from a detailer's perspective, from a DIY's perspective, and you know we've expanded the liquids line mm -hmm. you know pretty darn uh, prominently and now it's cool to see us get outside into other aspects of what goes into an install mm -hmm. and we focus lights i mean every light setup you see online is so focused on paint correction mm -hmm. defect removal different light temperatures and angles to play with that but i think the biggest challenge we have in coating installation is evenness and the opportunity to create high spots yep. given different lighting so Polishing paint, you want a direct light source, right? You mm -hmm. wanna look into the clear coat system and find the defects. When we're applying something topically that's gonna to sit on top, uh, a refracted or an angled light source is better because it'll show you any missed spots. I mean, that's yep. the real danger in coating, is leaving yep. a high spot, something you pushed up under the mirror or just didn't get to and the light didn't catch it or uh, you left the product on too long, right? And you left some trails of the install, mm -hmm. you don't really see it till you roll it out. Um, so this prism lighting system was designed uh, really to, as well. It'll work for paint correction, but um, the diffuser caps and yeah. the different light intensities, intensities uh, to see what's on the paint and give you that diffused light. You have the different light temperatures, different light intensities. You control it from an app. So pretty darn cool. 
uh, light system for coding specific installs. Yep, awesome. Well, look look forward to uh, yeah, shooting that video. Play. I think we're going to be shooting a video uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Go into a lot of details uh, about uh, these new lights. And if I'm not mistaken, we do already have these in inventory yes, here at Esoteric. So yep. check our website, esotericcarcare.com. Check out uh, the new uh, Geon Light. Um, okay, another thing we want to talk about uh, while we're here, just a quick announcement. Uh, in celebration of Jeff being here, we are offering uh, a, a product special discount, 20% off all Geon products at esotericcarcare.com. Uh, go on to the website. Uh, you've got information right on there, but it is a limited uh, time only or offer. So go on the website, take advantage of that uh, while Jeff uh, is here. Uh, next question, uh, is Gion going to have any new coatings coming to market in 2020? Good question. So the big release uh, at SEMA, you know, we really treat SEMA as the yearly yep. kind of product releases. Um, Again, you know, things that are in the works are in the works for two to three years. Yep. Uh, we hear some really cool ideas throughout the year, and then SEMA tends to be uh, the release point. So, um, you know, obviously just past November, yep. uh, late in the year, the big ones there uh, were the new Flash in the mobile mm -hmm. program, which I think is going to be a great hit. Mm -hmm. um, there have been some advancements in the uh, certified detailer products yep. in terms of how the base coding works, um, which are really, really nice. New warranties, new service site to go with that. Um, on the consumer side, uh, I'd say probably PPF coating okay. was the was the latest release there, which is uh, it's a really good product, man. The design is ease of use. I mean, you can put any coating over any PPF product. Yep. Um, what we would run into is different PPF manufacturers. Some are top coated, mm -hmm. some are not. Some coatings would work really well. Some would be really finicky. Um, PPF is that just all-in-one solution. It's easy over every film manufacturer. It's great over vinyl. Um, as well, and it's kind of a film designed um, um, solution there. Um, when we have new coatings coming out, truly we do not know until uh, a Next good SEMA bit rolls closer around. to yeah. SEMA. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and for those of you out there that are not aware, SEMA is held like late October. Yeah. Yeah. First uh, in, week in November, typically. Yep. Yeah, yeah. so uh, that's about uh, uh, the time we'll hear about it. Speaking of uh, those new ones, like uh, uh, Flash, when, uh, when will the the market see that or is that mm -hmm. already available? Yeah. yeah, Flash is in. Flash okay. is in the market. Uh, the new Pro coatings are in the market. Mm -hmm. um, doing great. You know, the initial n intake of Flash with the mobile guys has been awesome, which is something uh, I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I started mobile detailing. Yep. Um, and we really never, you know, as Gion had a tool designed specifically for mobile guys and what that day looks like, right? And uh, multi-layer products can be difficult, but you know, mobile, you want to be in and out in a day. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to revisit that site. So if you think about a mobile guy's day, you're at the house at 8 or so, unpack the truck by 8.30, decon wash, you know, is done by, say, 9 o'clock, uh, polish, 2, 3, 4 hours, you know, prep. You're installing your coating 1, 2 o'clock mm -hmm. in the afternoon, you know. Um, and Flash was designed with usability, uh, very fast drying time, mm -hmm. fast curing time. And the goal there is kind of back to the humidity question is to have a single layer coating, really easy to install that isn't thrown by that shift. You can see the day of nice cool morning to blazing hot, yep. you know, 2 p.m. sun, get it done, go through the interior, you're out of there by five or six and you have a, a, a proper system design really specifically for kind of outdoor use. Yep. You know, we have yep. this. Yeah, they, they, that's awesome to be able to offer that to, uh, uh, to detailers because you know, shops like the one you have, shops like mm -hmm. the one uh, that we have here at Esoteric, we get uh, a little bit um, spoiled because we have complete, you know, yeah, uh, control, climate control uh, mm -hmm. system. So it's nice to be able to offer something specific for those people yeah. that don't have that kind of uh, yeah. atmosphere to work in. Yeah, so absolutely, that's uh, that's uh, uh, that's awesome. Um, let's see here. <laughs> I, I know the next question uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that, that's coming from our, our, our friend over in uh, Belgium, but yeah. uh, where can I buy these socks? Yeah, so should I give his personal cell phone number out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta call <laughs> Eve directly. <laughs> right, right. For all, so yeah. you can get a personally signed sock from Eve directly yeah. at... Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, your towel this is a good one. You always lo love these kind of comments. Your towels are the best uh, that I've ever used. How do you make them uh, so good? Uh, question from Mark. Yeah, towels are great. And it's kind of one of those, again, you get into the breadth of the Gion uh, line and it's so yep. coating heavy that some of that stuff gets overlooked. And towels, <coughs> to me, are, are 
so important. I mean, it's the it's the conduit in which you literally touch the mm -hmm. car. Yeah. And we talk about like, yeah, you can go to you know Costco and get the 30 pack, and you know all that has its place. But when you're removing polishing oils, mm -hmm. or you're removing coating, you're installing a coating, you're working on glass. I mean, that towel is so important to be yeah. a properly designed towel for that specific tool. And that's why Gion has different plushness and different pile heights. Um, you know, and all those have been specced and, and custom designed. You know, obviously we don't, we don't have a big sewing factory mm -hmm. at the Gion headquarters. Um, designed spe specifically for Gion specs and put together um, always with an intention yeah. uh, uh, as a use. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, your microfiber makes all the difference uh, in the world. And you don't have to have a car like what we've got sitting behind us right now um, to, to be able to appreciate that level of, uh, of a towel. You know, you, you got a great car that you're, you're keeping after, you're a DIY person or your professional detailer. You know, your, your two biggest expenses, I tell people in the Elite Detailer Academy, uh, as a detailer are your pads and yeah. your towels. You know, those are the two things yeah. that are touching the paint yeah. all the time and you want as good as uh, you possibly can. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here, next one. Can I become certified for Gian even without a dedicated shop? for your pro products? If so, how? Some of them, yeah. So, so the, we have a fixed location certified detailer program mm -hmm. and a mobile program. Uh, the fixed lo location shop, commercial building, mm -hmm. uh, you know, proper storefront. We want it to be designed around fixed location businesses yep. that can market a territory and build and, and feel good that they mm -hmm. have that. Um, the flash side, you know, designed for mobile, mm -hmm. um, but I think there's certain businesses that will fit that as well. You know, maybe yep. a guy that has a great garage shop yep. that just doesn't have the commercial property required for the pro programs, mm -hmm. you know, flash might be a good use for. So um, we are opening that a bit. Okay. I think I want, I want to have the best tool possible for as many people as possible to be successful in these businesses. Yeah. Um, and I think Gian has done that very, very well with uh, with the new certified and the new flash product. Yeah. So. I mean, because you got a lot of great detailers out there mm -hmm. that, that, you know, may not have a facility uh, like this, uh, you know, a nice home-based business. Yeah, I mean, when, when, when Esoteric started, it yeah. was a home-based business. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, and, and, and we've obviously moved on to uh, to other things. So it's mm -hmm. nice that you guys have come out with something yeah. specifically uh, for, uh, for them. Uh, let's see here. One of the uh, last one. I'm a lazy detailer and prefer doing the hard work once and then just maintaining, hence I use coatings. What is your longest lasting coating and how long does it last? We were having a conversation yeah, yeah. earlier before lunch about, you know, durabilities and things of yep. coatings and, and unfortunately a lot of stuff on the market out there that, that just put out, you know, wild claims in terms of, uh, of how long it's going to be on mm -hmm. your car. So mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about your most durable coating and what kind of maintenance is involved yeah. with it. Definitely. And obviously a million variables in that. Yeah. You know, durability is tied very much to that specific car. Where does it live? How does it live its day-to-day -day, day -day life and the maintenance? So, I mean, you can put a single layer, low durability mm -hmm. coating on a car, properly maintain it. If it's parked in the garage, it's going to go well, well past yeah. that. Um, but if you want to say, you know, the longest uh, coating available to the public in the mm -hmm. Gion line, you've got to go synchro. Okay. Um, two layers of Q2 Mohs mm -hmm. um, is the base layer, <clears throat> and that's a fantastic coating by itself. Um, Gion is historically pretty conservative yep. on the durability claims. And, uh, Which uh, is they, one, of the, one of the reasons yeah. we like uh, them so mm -hmm. much because mm -hmm. it is realistic. Yeah, we're talking you know practical versus theoretical yes. durability of a coating. And yep. How long do you see the water behavior characteristics mm -hmm. and the gloss? You know that might be a shorter time frame based on life and maintenance than the coating is actually living on the car, yep. performing the UV and chemical duties. But our human brains, we see water beating or slickness or yep. gloss, and that's the coating. Yeah, it, um, it was what we, you know we hear at Esoteric. We've kind of um, you know, coined the, the phrase the uh, life versus um, effective life of a coating. Yep. And that's what you're talking right. about, the effective life mm -hmm. when it's still really mm -hmm. doing its job it's on job. the surface. Yep. 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 But you got to go synchro in that. Okay. And uh, so two layers of base, uh, the top coat of skin, which yep. is a silicone based top coat, slick as slick gets, yes. you know, that real dramatic water behavior, that mm -hmm. real dramatic rejection, really cool gloss. Um, and I think there's a tangible value to feeling that, even though slickness doesn't always equate to protection. Yep. Um, I think that's part of washing the car, right? Mm -hmm. What does it physically feel like when you do it? So top tier, I would be going synchro. Mm -hmm. You maintain with that with wet coat. I mean, I think is the easiest or bathe plus every two to three months. And that coating is going to perform for as long as you keep that finish healthy. Yep. You know, you've got to polish it off or you've got to expose it to a level of contaminant that breaks down that layer mm -hmm. prematurely. But if the coating's kept clean and, and the rejection abilities are, are kept at a high level, which is what, you know, cure, wet coat and bathe plus are designed mm -hmm. to do, 
it's going to go you know well past any yep. kind of durability claim right awesome awesome definitely uh Definitely appreciate that. Well, uh, we've got uh, like one last question, a cool. couple quick uh, closing thoughts before we're done. Yeah. Uh, but you know, one of this was uh, uh, one of these questions here. What I was going to end with, anyhow. You know, what are the main Gion products that a regular person needs to have in their arsenal to keep their vehicle yeah. in good condition? So you know, if there were two, three, four you know, must-have mm -hmm. products for everybody, what would you say yep. uh, those are? Yep. So, man. Let's, let's go around four. So first, if you're talking about a coated vehicle, mm -hmm. right? Uh, decontaminating that coating periodically to get it, get the full life out of it. Mm -hmm. And that is a, a Q2M iron. Okay. That's just paint, wheels, just all around decon product. I would roll that into my wash uh, routine. You know, wheels, guys will do it a lot more often, but mm -hmm. we, we forget that the paint does need iron more than just the first time you're applying the coating. Yep. So I'd be rolling that in every three months or so, okay. a good iron decon. Um, in terms of regular wash, bathe is hard yeah, to beat. Yeah, that's like my favorite. It's just a staple. Yep. And what makes that product special is great detergent and cleaning power, but lubricity. You know, yep. we don't, we've coated this car. We don't want to polish it again for two, three, four years. Mm -hmm. And the biggest instance there is wash induced marring. So uh, bathe and the lubrication that soap mm -hmm. provides, and it's pretty tangible, man, as you kind of touch yeah. that. And the nice thing is it can be used in a traditional two bucket method, or yeah. it can be used in a, a, a foam yeah. cannon. Yeah, whatever they your work really well. Is. Yep. So that's a big one. And then keeping the finish healthy, for me, wet coat is hard to beat. Mm -hmm. um, Cure is the dry wipe on version of that. Bathe Plus, you use in your wash medium. Mm -hmm. But to just be able to get the windows, the trim, the wheels in a, in a higher concentration of the product than you might yep. in Bathe Plus as you're putting it in the bucket, um, wet coat is hard to beat. I mean, those three products by themselves, mm -hmm. you could keep a car well sorted out. Yep. Um, but I, I think my favorite product in the line uh, has got to be can coat. Okay. Um, it's a very popular product. It doesn't get as much of the hype as the mm -hmm. big multi-layer you know products do. It says six months on the bottle, mm -hmm. which could detract somebody from trying a new product. I've seen regular can coat, not can coat pro, go 13, 14 months in Denver. Mm -hmm. I get guys emailing us all the time. I use can coat, maintain with wet coat. I'm on 24 months. Just the versatility of that product, 200 mil uh, mm -hmm. in a can. 55 bucks, you know, 54.99. Yep. Uh, paint, glass, trim, wheels, engine bay plastics, exhaust tips. I mean, you can use it on every exterior surface mm -hmm. of the car. Really great gloss, really great water behavior. I mean, that one just bang for the buck. You can, it's a topper for regular coatings. If you yep. drop something like Mose down and you want to do a good iron and tar decon a year, year and a half down the road and top it Could with can, can coat. coat. Yep. I mean, that one is just. Yeah, and, that, and that's a quick uh, um, quick wipe on, wipe off. Yes. Yeah, Real simple super process. Easy. It's not all involved, like if you're doing a, a regular coating. Yep. Uh, and the water beating on it is it's spectacular. Insane. It just needs to touch the paint. You don't yep. have to get this 50 50 overlap. Yep. I go on circles, pretty fast mm -hmm. hand motion. You're not trying to build up this really thick layer of material. Um, and that's, to me, that's. That's the bell of the ball in most awesome. in most instances. Awesome. Well, you know, there you have it. You've got you know, some of the, the the absolute best sellers within the Gion product line. Those items that uh, you know everybody needs to have. And now, once again, with Jeff here, go on to esotericcarcare.com. You'll get a, a discount, twenty percent discount uh, offered on those. Uh, Jeff, um, you know, we we could sit here and talk all day. We yeah. we do all, all the time. Quickly. But uh, we know we have people tuning in on their, their lunch hours and stuff. Yeah, they need to, to yeah, they yeah. need to get back yeah. uh, to work. <laughs> uh, but we wanted to thank you for coming yeah. and, and hanging out a couple of days uh, with us uh, here at Esoteric. And our friendship goes back uh, does, a, a yeah. long time, both a personal uh, friendship and a business yeah. relationship. Um, you know, we appreciate everything that you guys do uh, for the industry, uh, keeping us with great uh, products. And, you know, while he's here, we're going to be working on some, some other videos and some other ideas that the regular viewers of our YouTube channel uh, will be able to see and some stuff specifically yep. for our uh, website. So having said that, um, I definitely yeah, appreciate uh, having you, you here. Yeah, and uh, on behalf of uh, Jeff McEachran from Gion, I'm Todd Cooperider for Esoteric. Thank you so much for tuning in to us uh, today, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.